Oh, you want to talk about a fantasy value pick in terms of players who outperformed their ADP last year in the 2021 season. Yeah, you got Herbo, went in the sixth round, ended up the number of QB2, but then there's Cooper Cup. Goes in the fourth round and has the most fantasy points by a wide receiver in the history of the National Football League. That is what we call outperforming your ADP. So let's look at some options to do the same thing, not to Cooper Cup's extent, but the same thing this time around, right? You know what, Patrick, first I got to tell you, last year I advocated Cooper Cup and one of the DePaulo brothers, Doug, stole him from me. And I know they've been watching because they're texting during the show. And uh, they're going to go after these two guys that I'm talking about. Let's start with a Philadelphia Eagles running back. It's going to be Kenny Gainwell. Now, earlier this offseason, Miles Sanders was like, hey, don't draft me in fantasy. And I was like, done. I'm going to go with <laughs> Kenny Gainwell, who is going to be a much better option for you, especially given the price. His ADP, he's coming off the board as the RB43. But here's the one thing I want you to know. He had at least four targets in six games last season led the team in red zone targets and receptions in 2021. Now I know A.J. Brown is there, but he is still going to be a huge factor in the passing game. So go out, hit him for the price. And at the wide receiver position, you all know I love Brandon Cooks. I think it's time to welcome Nico Collins, who of course had a great game over the weekend against the Los Angeles Rams. But one of the things I really love in fantasy football, I love rookie running backs, and I love second-year wide receivers who are ready to make that break. Last season, he tied for the team lead with six end zone targets. He was okay down the stretch, but I really do believe that he's going to have an opportunity to break out. So when you look at the price, sorry, I was cheating. I bet readers on. <laughs> Sue me, whatever. I'm getting old. Here's my thing. Those two guys, I think, could help you this season. I'm not saying Cooper Cup levels, and I'm telling both the Paulo brothers right now and their nephew, Adam and Tate, don't take these guys. Yes, everybody get these guys, unless... Uh, you're a DePaulo brother or a relative. Mike, who's in your ADP uh, top guys? Yeah, no one in my league's draft this guy, but Kadarius Tony is my favorite breakout candidate. Last year, in a limited sample, he averaged 2.2 yards per route ran and had a 30% target share when on the field. Other receivers to meet those criteria, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, A.J. Brown, and Antonio Brown. Not many humans have the combination of speed and shiftiness like Tony does. It's really high praise, but when I watch him play, he reminds me a bit of Tyreek Hill. And then Rashad Penny is my most drafted running back this season. From week 14 on last year, he led all running backs in rushing yards, touchdowns, yards after contact, rush yards over expectations, and runs of 10 plus yards because he's really good at football. The only thing that's plagued him in the past is injuries, but you already get a discount, and there's no way he doesn't exceed his ADP going in the sixth round as the 29th running back if he stays healthy. Yes, fingers crossed. Hopefully Rashad Penny can stay clean and stay healthy here in 2022. Marcus, who outperforms their ADP to you? Well, I'm going to go with Juju Smith-Schuster. And I know it's become fashionable in the last year or so to say that Juju was washed and uh, he's not going to do much in Kansas City. But let's not forget, it was just a couple of seasons ago. He caught 97 passes from a declining Ben Roethlisberger. Now he gets to catch passes from Patrick Mahomes in an offense that, yes, has a player during his time in the NFL. Sky Moore is a guy that I, cer I certainly think we like as a sleeper potential as a rookie, but we still don't know exactly what he can be. Juju can be a consistent target for Patrick Mahomes and guy who can still produce when given the football. Then there's Rashad Bateman in Baltimore. And Bateman was a guy that certainly a lot of draft scouts liked, but he was just in a situation in an offense that didn't throw the ball a whole lot. They had two targets ahead of him in Mark Andrews and Marquise Brown. Well, Marquise Brown is now in Arizona. That leaves about 140 targets open, considering that Bateman got about 68 targets last year. That target share is going to go up. This is still not an offense that I think can support more than two pass catchers, but Bateman looks like he's solidly locked into that second target spot. I think he's going to need some big opportunities this year. Big opportunities for all of these guys. There's Two things are possible. Either the ADP is locked solid, and everybody else is wrong, or, or we're right. We're right about the guys that are going to outperform their ADP, go out and draft them, because we've got more coming up here on Fantasy Live. When we come back, uh, time for some power.